let's look at how to configure a DHCP v6 server or a service on a Cisco router using Slack. First of all, we need to have a router. So we'll go ahead and drag one of these routers up here and then we'll grab a switch and then we will grab a PC and get them all here. Next, we want to configure them so that they can well, physically talk to each other. So I go Gigabit Ethernet 00 right here to my fast Ethernet and then this fast Ethernet to the PC. Not the ideal setup, but that's okay. We're not really worried about ideal setups right here. We just want to configure it. So the DHCP service is going to be running on router one right here. The switch is just passing everything through. We don't need to configure anything here. And then the PC is going to be our DHCP v6 client. So I'll go ahead and configure first the router. So I'll type in no here. And I'll go into my privilege mode. And from here, I'll go into my global configuration. And then I want to configure this so that it can communicate using IPv6. So I'll use the IPv6 unicast routing command. And that turns it on and makes it so work. You can configure everything else. And if you don't have that command in there, then it looks like it should work, but it just doesn't work. All right. Next, we need to create our pool. So this is the pool of addresses we're going to be giving out. And we can go ahead and do that using the IPv6 DHCP pool. And then we have to think of the name of the pool. So we'll just call it my pool. Although normally you give it a better name than that. If you press question mark, you can see a list of options here. We can give the addresses for the allocation. We can do DNS servers and domain names. If we do DNS servers and domain names, we're going to have to also um, make sure we configure the other configuration flag. And we'll look at that in just a moment. So let's go ahead and set our address. So address, and you can see the address prefix you want. And we're going to assign things in the 2001 DB8 a cad one colon colon slash 64 network right there so that right there will be good enough we'll just configure addresses in that network next we're going to go ahead and set our dns server we'll just set it to something easy do dns server and we'll do fe80 colon colon one so that would be our link local address we're going to assign later and then we can go ahead and set a domain name so this would be your search domain or something else i'll do domain name and do example.com all right so that pool is created we don't have any IP addresses configured on the interface going out and we have no way to communicate, but that is not as important at this point. So I'll go ahead and exit out. And now I'm going to configure those interfaces. So I'll do int g0 slash zero. And I want to give it an IP address. So I'll do IPv6 address and give it my link local fe80 colon colon one. And I want to do link local. All right. Now, if I'm giving out addresses in that prefix, maybe I want to be able to communicate with that prefix using that address range. So I'll do IPv6 address 2001 DB8 a CAD 1 colon colon 1 and it's a slash 64 address so now it is configured on that interface so we, now we have two different ip addresses my link local and my global un, unicast address so my gua 
I'm going to activate the interface so no shut down and it's up now at this point I still have not given out any addresses because I have not actually told this interface to be giving out addresses so on this interface I'm going to now configure the addresses so that it can be given out so the IPv6 DHCP server and then I have to tell it the pool that I'm using so this would be my pool and then at that point it can give out the addresses however if I do it just this way and and stop what will happen is that any clients would be able to see all of my router advertisements they could even send out router solicitations and receive a router advertisement but they will not get the DNS or um, the search domain information the domain name wouldn't be there because that would be additional information so I can do the IPv6 ND and then if you look at it you can see there is the other config flag so I'd do other config flag and press enter and that will say okay we're setting the flag that we have other information and so they can send further requests and get the information all right now it's ready to go I can exit out of that one close this and jump over to my PC over here so the PC if I go into my desktop and configure the IP address I can say well okay we want an automatic IPv6 address and you will see that it suddenly receives its IPv6 address so it's a link local address right there and you can see it's in the FE80 and it's using um, this address right here you can see that the DNS server is now FE80 colon colon one and the IPv6 address that it has assigned itself is this 2001 DB8 ACAD one and some number you'll see that this number matches the ending portion of the link local which means that it's using the EUI 64 not using some random thing it's probably generating it based off its MAC address and I can also um, exit out of here and jump down to the command prompt and type an IP config slash all and I can verify that yes in fact it does have the addresses and it also has the search domain that it was given so that is how you configure it so that the clients can receive it now just so you can see if I would have turned off the IPv6 other stuff so right here if I go back into the interface if I do this command right here and do a no no IPv6 in the other config turn that off then you can see what actually happens now so this thing right here has an address already I can go here and I can go back to static and then go back to automatic and you can see now it doesn't have a DNS server because it did not get the other information and it should not have the search domain of example.com because it's not there so no example.com so no no connection specific DNS suffix all right so that's slack and that is how to configure a DHCP service on a Cisco router using slack and how to use the other flag or not use the other flag to get it configured